Hi, this is Amy Blaine. Welcome to the ExplorePeoria.com Entertainment Report, brought to you by Avantis. My name is Kevin Rich. I'm the artistic director here at the Illinois Shakespeare Festival. I'm entering my fourth season in that role. I started as an actor here in 2009, and the festival itself is entering its 39th season this year. Um, the festival started in uh, you know, the late 1970s in this spot on what was once Hazel Buck Ewing's tennis courts. And then a theater was built here. And then in 1999, uh, the community worked together to raise money to build this theater, which is a beautiful 438-seat, three-quarter thrust. I first heard about ISF when I was an actor in New York. Uh, so it's well known in theater circles. Uh, and, it, and I'm delighted to see that it's only becoming more and more well known uh, here in central Illinois. I'm just as interested in Shakespeare's practices as I am in, in his plays. And by that I mean, I think it's not just his plays that are accessible uh, to a, a wide audience, um, but also the way they're performed, the way he wanted them to be performed. So we incorporate a lot of his, or take into consideration his intentions as a playwright when performing his plays. First of all, he wrote the plays to be performed in an outdoor theater in front of an audience in plain view and actors interact with the audience. It's not like, you know, in the sort of modern era we think of lights going out on the audience or in film and TV the, the audience is kind of a detached observer. But in Shakespeare's day the audience was very much a participant in the event and we like to capture that spirit here. So we produce three plays in rotating repertory, which is to say there's one company of actors that appear in all three plays. Uh, we, every year we do a Shakespearean comedy, a tragedy or history, and a new play that shares a lot of the same characteristics of Shakespeare's plays. And that play this year is Peter and the Starcatcher, which is an adaptation of the classical tale of Peter Pan. And it's done with imaginative theatricality and live music and gender bending, a lot of the same ingredients you'll find in Shakespeare's plays. Twelfth Night is our comedy, and there is gender bending in that play, um, where Viola pretends to be a boy. And of course, that harkens back to the fact that Shakespeare couldn't use women on stage, so he would have you know, young boys play the women's roles. So to dress up as a boy, they would just take the dress off again. <laughs> uh, I think that was a pretty clever convention on his part. But in keeping with that practice for Hamlet, we are gender bending the other way. Uh, it's the fifth time in the history of the festival that we've performed Hamlet, but this is the first year, the first time uh, that a woman will be playing, is playing the title role. Uh, Deborah Staples was here in 2014 playing Cleopatra and Queen Elizabeth for us. And the story that I love to tell is that she had to wear a wig in both of those productions, so she had to get a short haircut. And she came into rehearsal the next day with a page boy cut, and she was wearing cargo pants. And the first thing I thought was, my gosh, she looks like Hamlet. <laughs> and she's an extraordinary actor with a remarkable range. Um, she's often called a chameleon who can kind of disappear into roles. And so there was really no one else that came to mind. Uh, to play Hamlet uh, than Deborah. So she's back this year. She has a huge following in Milwaukee and Madison and Chicago, and there's a lot of people coming in from out of town to see her play Hamlet. Um, so it's just a really exciting season all around. And Peter and the Starcatcher is the most family friendly show I think we've ever offered. And it's exciting to see how many young people, how many families are in the audience to see that show. In addition to those three plays, we also offer a, a free Theater for Young Audiences production. This year that's Rodeo by Philip Dawkins, who wrote uh, the new play that we produced in 2013, Failure, a Love Story. Rodeo is a hilarious 45-minute adaptation of As You Like It about a girl and her mule who want to win the rodeo, but they're not allowed to compete because she's a girl and he's a mule. So she dresses as a boy and the mule dresses as a horse. And I won't spoil the ending for you, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, that performs at no charge uh, on we Wednesday and Saturday mornings during the run of the festival, so until August 13th at 10 a.m. And then we also have a special guest here, back by popular demand for the fourth summer, the Improvised Shakespeare Company from Chicago. 
these are, this is a hilarious troupe of actors, five guys who come down and make up a Shakespeare play based on an audience suggestion. It's an hour long and they just knock them dead every time. Uh, they're performing as a pre-show at 5.30 on Sunday nights. So from 5.30 to 6.30 you can watch them, then go out, enjoy a meal from the food truck or bring your own food and picnic on the grounds and then come back in and see the 7.30 show. So Sundays can be a double header day. People say, I came here when I was a kid and now I'm bringing my kids. And we just want to hear that more and more. And that's one of the reasons why we're so excited to offer a family friendly season that is attracting you know, families throughout our community and beyond. Over 39 years, we have grown to the point where we're now attracting actors, designers, directors, technicians from all around the country. We receive anywhere between 500 and 750 inquiries every year. So that's over 500 auditions uh, for a company of about 15 actors who we bring in from all across the country. Half of them are equity actors. The other half are non-equity actors. We also have an intern company. I love how this festival sits at the intersection of academic and professional, which is to say our affiliation with the university allows us to give students their first professional opportunity working alongside these amazing professional theater artists. As part of their internship, they understudy professional actors in the main stage productions. They play ensemble roles in the main stage productions. And they also form the cast of the Theater for Young Audiences show, Rodeo, this year. If you're interested in learning more, I invite you to check out our website, IllinoisShakes.com. We recently revamped it. It includes a ton of information about all the things that we have to offer. You can also learn more by liking us on Facebook. Uh, that's a great way to keep current with everything that we have going on. So we play every night except for Mondays through August 13th. And again, I encourage you to come early, bring a picnic, enjoy some of our free pre-show entertainment out in the courtyard. That stuff gets started at about 6.30. And then the show starts at 7.30, uh, Sunday through Thursday, and 8 o'clock Fridays and Saturdays. And then a little insider tip, on Wednesdays we have talkbacks after every performance and then a free ice cream social where patrons, cast members and crew members can retire up to the courtyard and enjoy some free ice cream together. So come check us out and thanks for your interest. Avantis is all about the bread. Home of our original fresh baked bread for your perfect sandwich with pasta or just a spread of butter. There's nothing like Avanti's bread. Go to AvantisPeoria.com to find your Avantis. Find Peoria area events and entertainment when you subscribe to the ExplorePeoria.com electronic newsletter. It's free. Sign up today at ExplorePeoria.com. Anything you need to know and the only site you need to go, explorepeoria.com.